Hello, and welcome to this special prayer to forgive yourself and others. As we prepare our hearts for prayer, I encourage you to bring to mind the things that you need to forgive yourself for and the people you need to forgive. God is calling you to forgive yourself for your past and to forgive others for the wrongs they've committed against you, despite whether or not they ever acknowledge any wrongdoing or ask for your forgiveness. The gift of forgiveness is for you, to bless you so that you may experience the freedom and the peace of God that forgiveness brings in your life. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your love and your kindness towards us. Thank you for demonstrating your love for us through Christ Jesus and the forgiveness of our sins. According to 1 John 1 9, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, we confess that we have sinned and knowingly did things that we know are wrong. We lay before you the moments we've fallen short, when we've caused others pain and sinned against you and other people. We've also held things against someone and ourselves and have not extended grace and forgiveness in the same way that it has been given to us. Father, please forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, we ask you to help us to forgive ourselves. There are times when the weight and consequences of our actions, sins, and failures are so great that we find it difficult to forgive ourselves. We hold those things over our own heads and dwell in the shame and embarrassment of it to the point that it immobilizes us. It grips us like chains enslaving us. Jesus said, You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. John 8, 32. And in John 8, 34 through 36, he says, most assuredly, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin, and a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Father, free us from the bondage of sin and our mistakes. Help us to lay aside every weight, every sin, every mistake, everything that so easily ensnares us and keeps us from fulfilling your will and purpose in our lives. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Hebrews 12 one through two. We can't walk worthy of the calling you have over our lives if we continue to carry guilt and shame instead of our anointing. Lord, give us the courage to accept our mistakes, failures, and imperfections. You don't require us to be perfect. And neither should we require perfection ourselves. Give us wisdom to learn from our mistakes and our sins. Empower us to use the lessons from our past as stepping stones toward growth instead of stumbling blocks holding us back. Help us to forget those things behind us and press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 through 14. We choose to forgive ourselves just as you have forgiven us. 
Break the chains of guilt and shame that bind us. Help us to internalize the truth that there is there for now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Romans 8, 1. And for if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and knows all things. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence toward God. And whatever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. 1 John 3, 20 through 22. Lord, you do not condemn us, so neither should we allow our heart or conscience to condemn us. You are greater, and your love is greater than all our failings. Help us to embrace the freedom found in your grace and move forward with a heart renewed by your love. Father, we ask that you also help us to forgive others. Just as forgiving ourselves is freeing, so too is forgiving those who have hurt us. Several times in scripture, you command us to forgive. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Mark eleven twenty five. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Ephesians four thirty two. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Colossians 3, 12-13 Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, How often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Matthew 18, 21 through 22. The discretion of a man makes him slow to anger and his glory is to overlook a transgression. Proverbs 19:11 Take heed to yourselves. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you 7 times in a day, and 7 times in a day returns to you saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. Luke 17, 3 through 4. It is to our benefit that we forgive. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Matthew 6, 14 through 15. Your word is clear. We must forgive. We pray that your word settles in our hearts, in our spirits, and in our minds so that we will be empowered to forgive no matter how great the offense. May we overcome the challenges and stubbornness of the flesh that never wants to forgive or forget offenses, hurt, and pain. Let us look to you as our model of how to forgive. You freely and readily forgive us. 
For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Psalm 86, 5. But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. Psalm 130, 4. You do not remain angry at us. He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion on us and will subdue our iniquities. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. Math- Micah 7, 18 through 19. You choose not to remember our sins. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds. I will remember no more. Hebrews 8, 12. And you mercifully do not give us the retribution our sins deserve. Psalms 103, 10 through 12 says, He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. We need your forgiveness, mercy, and compassion more than we need vengeance or to hold on to the hurt and unforgiveness. Lord, help us to forgive like you. We surrender the desire for retribution and the need to avenge ourselves. For you admonish us, Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in doing so, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12, 19 through 21. In this moment, we choose to let our good overcome evil. We choose to forgive those who have hurt us, betrayed us, caused us pain, or offended us in any way. We release the anger, hurt, bitterness, resentment, grudges, vengefulness, and any other negative feelings that we have been holding in our hearts towards our offender. Help us to see them through your eyes with compassion and understanding that, like us, they too are imperfect and fallible and in need of your love, grace, and mercy. We pray that you bless them and heal them And we ask that you also help them forgive themselves and others. Father, we recognize that forgiveness is not a one-time act, but a continuous choice. Grant us the strength to continually choose forgiveness and not keep a record of wrongs committed against us. When the enemy comes to remind us of the wrongs, Help us to remember that we have forgiven and that the offense and the person are covered under the blood of Jesus. And again, we choose to forget those things which are behind and reach forward toward those things which are ahead as we press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 through 14. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we pray. Amen. As we conclude this time in prayer, may grace and peace be multiplied to you 
in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. 2 Peter 1-2 Thank you for joining me in this prayer. If you have specific prayer requests, testimonies, thoughts, or revelations related to forgiveness, please share them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I also encourage you to share this video with others who may be struggling with forgiveness. Thank you for watching and God bless.